next on deck with Tim Black. But I still want to save a little bit of grace for people because I could understand how you could still believe. I mean, it's tough. I mean, you got to be really, I mean, to be as goofy as we were about Obama in 2008, to do that now in 2024 with Kamala Harris, I mean, you got to be like trying to fight against information. I keep saying, guys, I'm just going to say it, man. I just, I remember how it was with Obama. Yeah, just dumb. I remember that me and Mrs. Black were sitting there watching it on the TV. We were still living in a Capitol Heights, Maryland, in the hood over there by Dodge View. No, over there by uh, Benning Road, near Benning, not Benning Road. What was that? What's that road that runs parallel to District Heights, Forestville, Maryland? Anyway, we're sitting over there in Capitol Heights, Maryland. <clears throat> Not far from Oak Crest Towers. See, some people gonna know what I'm talking about. Not far from Oak Crest Towers. And we're, we're there and it's, we're watching Obama and we're like, wow, Obama. And I was never the feeling of God, hope and change. Keep hope alive and change it. Look at this, it's amazing. So look, man, I don't wanna take away from somebody's feeling of that. And I know for a lot of people, what I'm saying, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm talking, when I'm telling you my feelings about Kamala Harris, it does not resonate with you because you are believing in something right there. So I understand those people that dislike me for it. Those people that say that I'm a scumbag and I'm a sellout for it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But I can't hold it against you. Because I remember how stupid I was. But I don't think people were sellouts if they didn't agree. Because in 2008, there was not this amount of internet activity in social media. Twitter had just started. I don't even think I was on Twitter in 2008. I think the only social media that we were using was YouTube or Facebook. And I really wasn't on YouTube at that point. So you get what I'm saying? So I don't think I had the access of information to see all the shapes and sounds, the size of Barack Obama at the time. Things were more controlled by the corporate media. And they did, a, they did a good job of curating and promulgating a narrative that would give you the impression that Barack Obama could walk on water, that all things were great. <clears throat> it was not until 2012 that many of us woke up about Obama. 2010, 11, 12, that we saw this. But I still want to save a little bit of grace for people because I could understand how you could still believe. I mean, it's tough. I mean, you got to be really, I mean, to be as goofy as we were about Obama in 2008, to do that now in 2024 with Kamala Harris, I mean, you got to be like trying to fight against information. I mean, you got to be like, bam, get that book out of my, get that information away from me. Get that truth out of me. Get out of here with the truth. I can't stand truth. You got to have like a barrier of stupid. Like, that's stupid. You got to have a force field protecting you against truth. Yeah, you got to really want to be in a bubble in order to not hear the truth about Kamala Harris. I mean, and then you got a lot of yourself. Forget the forget people telling you lies. You got a lot of yourself like, it sounds like a good idea to wash greens in a tub. It sounds like a good idea to choose with that married man twice her age. It sounds like a good idea for them to disenfranchise us of the votes. It's not like a good idea for them to throw Biden out and put her in and not make her go through a primary and then put her, install her as a Democratic nominee without any type of Democratic process. And they should be able to do that too because it's their party and that don't matter. <laughs> like, it takes a lot of convincing of oneself to go along with the, the narrative that's being portrayed by the Democratic Party right now. You know what I'm saying? You gotta really, you gotta really want to believe this nonsense. And I don't think that you should, but I still want to leave you a little bit of grace because I guess it's possible, but it ain't the same. It's not the same. Things have changed. And the Democratic Party must accept that things have changed. They have not accepted it. They will accept it in 2028, though. Oh, they're going to have to accept it in 2028 because they're going to feel the pain in 2024. Mark my words.